Hey there guys, Joel Gaming YT here and welcome back to my FIFA 16 Arsenal career mode. Now last episode we obviously started off the Premier League season and we also played against Chelsea in the FA Community Shield. In this episode we should be rounding off the tr uh, transfer window. We've also got games against Liverpool, uh, we've got a game against Newcastle in the league and we've also got a game against Brighton over Albion in the Capital One Cup. Um, also, I also I've got to mention about the Champions League uh, group. I haven't. Sh I don't believe I've shown you yet. So I will show you now who I have got in the Champions League. As you can see, we are in Group A. We've got FC Barcelona, Shakhtar Donetsk, and Bayer Leverkusen. What a tough group that is. That is, <clears throat> I have no idea who's going to go through. I think obviously Barcelona. They're they're going to be favourites to win the group. It's going to be between us. <laughs> to Nets and Bayer Leverkusen to get that second spot. I hope we can get through, cause, but hopefully those group winners, because then they, cause then we'll have a much easier opponent in the round of third, uh, round of 16. So that's the group. But now we've got to focus on the Premier League. We've got a game against Liverpool. Obviously, in real life, this game actually finished nil-nil, which happened in the first game of. This series, we play, obviously played West Ham, we drew 0 0, and then we went to Crystal Palace and beat them 4 0. That was just a crazy game. But now we've got to play Liverpool, one of our toughest tests of the season. I'm hoping we can win this and then you know, push on in the league. They are actually above us on points, they have won both the opening two games. We've obviously won one and drawn them. We are third, they are second, so this could be a very interesting game. Obviously, player to watch is Mesut Ozil, who scored two of the four goals in the last game against Crystal Palace, and hopefully he can do the same in this game. When he does or doesn't, doesn't really matter. Oh, this could be good. Come on, Chamberlain. Come on, go for it. Oh, Simulay with the save. Fuck off. Simulay? I said Simulay. I meant Mignolet. Sorry. <laughs> oh, on a good corner, eh? Oh yeah, I totally could have got that. Oh ref. So that is half time. Not really much has happened in this first time. We've had a couple of good opportunities. Obviously Liverpool hit the crossbar right quite early on. Nil nil. Oh, it's Cockerland. Come on, Cockerland. Yes! Cockerland with the goal. Oh mate, what a run that was! How oh my god. Gotta see that again. Gotta see that again. Here's Urzel, plays into Cochrane, and the run that Cockerland makes, my god. Superbly done. That's a great run by Cockerland. He gets his first goal in an Arsenal shirt. 1 0 to us. And that is that. We have beaten Liverpool by a goal to nil. Our beats run is still continuing thanks to that Francis Cockerland goal on this 68th minute. Another clean sheet for us. Let's get into the Capital One Cup game, which will be soon because I'm not really prioritising the Capital One Cup. Right then, guys, time to simulate this Capital One Cup game against Brighton and Hove Albion. They're also in the Championship. We're in the Premier League. And we win by two goals to one. Monreal and Joel Campbell got the goals. I actually used my second team for this, and I just get the players that aren't really going to be playing as much, getting them some game time. But it's a good win for us. Now we've got Newcastle. St. James's Park is calling us and that is where we are. We have gone to Newcastle to play against Newcastle United. Obviously, I'm not too sure how they're doing on the game. I know in real life they're kind of struggling a little bit. But I know they've got some really good players and some decent and some decent players as well. Um, like I said, I'm not too sure. Obviously, as the one of the players to what? Is the player to watch? Probably agree with that. The last couple of games has done quite well. Um, but yeah, there's the bug eyed. <laughs> I'm joking. But there's the, there's their team. When I them, obviously we know a lot about him. Cisse up front. I just don't know why they're not doing that as well in real life. Obviously, I want to see what the league table looks like, but I don't think I will get the chance to. There's our fans on the top balcony. We don't know why that is. Because that's the away, that's the section for the away fans. Anyway, same, well, two changes to the team. Laurent Koscielny comes in for Per Mertesaka. And Santa Cazorla comes in for Francis Coquelin. 
Am I going to get to see the table? I hope so. I really want to see what the table looks like. I think we might be second. Depending on how Chelsea got on. Are we going to get to see the league table? I don't think we are. Let's get into the game. Why am I conceding so many early shots? This is like the fourth game in a row I've, I've let a team shoot within five minutes of playing. What is this? What am I doing? Come on, Chamberlain. Come on, son. Come on, Chamberlain. Come on. Come on. Cockering in the right place at the right time. Yes, and that is from a Newcastle corner. Co Chamberlain just ran the, down that pitch. I was thinking, do I be selfish or not? I thought not, and it was the decision paid off. Look at that run. Down the left-hand side. Plays it across. Cochrane gets there first before Tim Krul. I think that's his first goal for the club. Maybe. But 1-0. Let's do this. Oh, Yaya Torre. It's 2. It's 2-0. Yes! Oh, mate, yeah, yeah, Torre. Being in the right place at the right time just clearly helps. Ozil picks up the ball just outside the box. Well, Torre, Torre actually set that attack up. So into Torre, just bomb corner. You know it's always going to go in. Nice goal that. Tim Krul should have just stood there, really. Good attempt by his arm. Just a little bit above the ball. And that is... 2-0 to Arsenal. I'm not with this. Fuck. I should have done that. We could be conceding our first goal of the season. I should just switch player. Why did I go in for a tackle? I should just switch player. Oh my god. But then who could I? Who, could, who would have switched to? Kshoni? Then Kishoni would be in our place. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I just make some silly decisions. Straight down the middle. 2 1. Our first conceded goal of the season. And it's on the penalty. Cissé, you know, he's a really good striker. I do like Cissé. And he's finally broken our clean sheet record. 2 1. And it's just before half time. And that is how it's going to be. It's 2 1 at the break. A goal from Cochrane and Yaya Toy was, was making us a little bit comfortable, but that penalty from Cisse just put us on edge a little bit. It's 2 1. We've got to do better. We, we can win this. We can surely win this. Oh, go on, Chamberlain. What the frick was that? <sighs> My word, that was bad. Oh my god! Fucking hell, what am I doing? Alright, Cocker in. Come on. Come on, Cocker in. Oh, thank fuck for that. One on Cocker in. Two goals for him in this game. Probably one game, probably one game, game his hat trick because he's. His I don't think his stamina's that good. He does seem a little bit tired. So I think maybe some substitutions, but it's 3-1, thanks to Cochrane. Seven minutes ago, I was just like, come on, this has to be a goal. I think they went all out attack here. But Cochrane just threw it on goal. Bomb corner. Superb. Superb. Jack Wilshere through. Come on, Jack. Finish that, Jack. Oh, Tim Krul with the save. I had Alexis, but I had Alexis with me, so maybe I should have played it there. Oh, well, I think I made the right decision. And that is it. We have won by three goals to one, thanks to two goals from Cochrane and a goal by Yaya Torre. Papi Cisse gone back into it just before half time to make it 2 1, but we settled it. We've got the three points. Let's move on into the next game, which I believe is Stoke. But that's like a couple of weeks after the transfer window finishes, so. Right, and so it's transfer deadline day. Obviously, we've spent fifty-two and a half million pounds on three players: that was Stones, Cochrane, and Torre. We've only recouped three hundred ninety thousand pounds because that's some of our youngsters going out. Let's just go through some of the top deals. Verratti's gone to Atletico Madrid for what was that? Thirty-seven and a half million. 
Alaba's gone to Juventus from Bayern Munich for 34 and a half million and Cavani's gone to Manchester United for 32 and a half million. So let's just wind down. We probably won't be signing anyone or selling anyone. So it's just going to be a quiet, peaceful transfer deadline day for us. Big transfer news. Chelsea have signed Jerome Boateng from Bayern Munich for 55 and a half million pounds. How unfair is that? It was all going a little bit quiet. It was only, we we're only at around thirty million pounds on transfer deadline day. It's now gone up to eighty nine point six million. All thanks to Chelsea. Fuck you, Chelsea. You're assholes. That's it. Transfer deadline day has closed, and I've got to wait till like a couple of weeks until we can get into the Premier League again. Right, and guys, so we're back in the Premier League. We have got Stoke City at home. We know how difficult it is to play against them. <sighs> Obviously, can't really do any air ball, air passes, but it's got to be on the ground because we know how slow they are, but we also know how physical they are. So, but as you can see by the league table, we are currently in second place with two points off Man um, not Manchester, with two points off Chelsea because they've won all four of their games. But when we play them, we're going to make sure that does. We're going to make sure they lose. But let's play against Stoke now. We've got to. Oh. Obviously, we've only conceded a one goal, which is awesome. Stoke have only scored three. So, that looks interesting. But, let's get into this game. I want th all three points here. Gibbs. Go on. Go on, Gibbs. Ah, oh, Shea giving in a way. Obviously, it will be Shea giving because they don't have Asmir Begovic and Moyes now at Chelsea. Um, Yeah, moving on. Alexis Sanchez. Oh, Alexis Sanchez. Get in there. What great football that was. Quarter of an hour into game and Alexis Sanchez has given us the lead. Great goal. Absolute great goal. Paul plays into Cochrane. Plays it into Sanchez. The control as well. Goes a little bit wide. Turns onto his right foot. Finesse it. Bomb corner. Sort of. Actually, it was a bomb corner. Why am I scoring goals that are going to the bomb corner? What is this? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. As long as we score, I don't really care. 1 0. And that is half time. We are currently beating Stoke by a goal to nil. Starting to get a little bit hairy. Stoke obviously being a physical team. A couple of fouls that have not gone our way. But we're still winning nonetheless, thanks to that Alexis Sanchez goal in the 15th minute. Let's get in the second half and hopefully we can win. Go on, Cazola. We're back! No! Nah! <laughs> and that is full time. We are being stoked by a goal to nil. Thanks to that. Alexis Sanchez go on the 15th minute. Couple of opportunities to go on and get all three points properly. A couple of shots just not quite going in. But it does matter. We've held on for victory. And now to round off the episode, we'll take a look at the Premier League table. So this is the Premier League table. As you can see, we are currently in second place. Still two points off Chelsea. They have won the, fir the first five games. They've conceded 12. They've scored 12. They've conceded 12. Bloody hell. They've scored 12 and only conceded 3. We are in second with 13 points. Scored 9 and only conceded 1. And look at Sunderland up in 5th place. <laughs> of all places to be, they're in 5th place. Place. Everton are down in 17th, so Everton are struggling quite a bit. In the bottom three, we have Crystal Palace, Leicester and West Brom. So in the next episode, we're going to be starting the Champions League campaign. We are up against Bayer Leverkusen. We've also got Chelsea and I can't remember who's next, so we will have a look in the next episode. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this, and if so, please do leave a like. Please subscribe as well, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, lads. Peace and bye.